Hello my friends, welcome to a brand new video, welcome back to my channel, welcome to a brand new day. I literally loathe myself. Look at what I did again. This is what I did again. They put an Ulta right next to my ShopRite. So you know every time I go to ShopRite, which is often, I walk into Ulta. And then I was in the mall. So I went to Sephora. And I don't know what's wrong with me, but I just, I really have a lipstick addiction. Also, absurd but everything e.l.f. I have so many e.l.f. things. All of these companies are coming out with lip oils, but also I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of companies are coming out with like matte lipsticks too. Bold lips are making a comeback and I think it's gonna be a statement lip no matter what the season is. I bought a ton of drugstore. At Sephora, I bought, I'm pretty sure everything, Charlotte Tilbury and one Bobbi Brown. I have nude lips, I have bold lips, I have red lips. I have wine lips. I got a lot of lips here. So let's stop talking and let's start putting them on my face. When I went to Ulta and was looking at the e.l.f. display, these were the only two shades left. So I figured I would buy one of each because why not? I felt like it was a sign. I have been using this one, Honey Talks. It has the big doe foot, which I feel like every lip oil and their mother has. These are really pretty and very comfortable. I do not have the biggest lips. I do not have the best lips. I've never gotten lip fill filler. I've never gotten lip filler in my life. I'm scared of the pain, but more so I've seen crazy like migration and I just, with my luck, I will be the one that ends up looking like a duck. Beigey, kind of brown, easy breezy. It looks like your lips, but better. It does have a little bit of a menthol scent. It has a little bit of a menthol feel, but it's not uncomfortable. It doesn't sting. The sweetest little wash of color. What's fun about a gloss too, is that you can really change up the look of a gloss with a lip liner. So if I wanted this to be a little bit bolder, I would pair it with a darker lip liner, MAC Cork, Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. If I wanted something that was just like a little bit more nude with a little bit more definition, you can pair it with a lip liner to kind of change the shade, but you can also so just throw them on like this. And I kind of just wanted to throw it on like this because I want to keep it true to what the product is. If you don't own the same lip liner as me, you're not going to get the same look. I also bought this shade, which is in Rose Envy. I really wanted to try, I think they had Rose Quartz, I think was the name of it. That one looked beautiful, but it was totally sold out. They are very hydrating, comfortable. They do not irritate my lips. They do not leave my lips dehydrated like some lip products do. They give a high-end feel. This color really gives me Rosewood by Dior. Let me see if I can find it. Seems to be a bit more pigmented looking on my lips and that just might be because my lips are pink and it's kind of just enhancing my lip shade. It's all personal preference. I like how this kind of just gave my lips a flush. Here is my Dior Rosewood. So yeah, this is definitely more pinky. I don't know, but when I swatched it, it kind of just gave me a very similar vibe. Here is Elf in Rose Envy again, and then here is Dior in Rosewood. Similar, but definitely different. I would say Dior is a little bit more peachy, whereas Rose Envy, the Elf one, is a bit more pink. Dior is thicker. I think you can tell by the swatches here. And also the color is more fluid. So I don't know if you can tell, but look at Dior. It's kind of like the same color down the line. Whereas e.l.f., it's kind of like a patchier shade, but it's not patchy on the lips. Drugstore, they don't have testers for you, but I do find that e.l.f. gives a really good description of their shades on their website. Thankfully, when I went to Ulta, there was like no one in the store. The most pristine Ulta I have ever seen in my entire life because I don't know if I had shared this with you guys, but I went to the Ulta near where my mom lives and I bought three products, two lip products and one sunscreen. When I got home, I opened them and they were all used. When I was there, it was like mayhem. I've never seen so many children in a makeup store. I don't know what is going on. No offense to the kids, but it is like insane that there are children walking around Ulta, walking around Sephora with baskets filled to the brim. Who is sponsoring these children to spend all this money on makeup? Now don't get mad at me. The, the children are ruining my makeup experience. Like when I go in on a Saturday with my cute little outfit, my cute little handbag, like this is my outing of the weekend, most weekends, which is why I can't, I can't stop going. All there is to do in the winter, in my opinion, is to shop and spend my money, which is terrible. But that's just where my head is at. But I walk in with my cute little outfit, with my makeup of the day that I put extra effort in because I knew that I was going to a beauty store and I'm ready to peruse and have a grand old time looking at all the makeup when there's like 55 children who just like 
have no regard for you at all. It takes away from my experience. I love that we love makeup, but I just think that like, 9, 10, 11, 12 year olds should not be shopping in Sephora and Ulta and buying skincare. Children, you don't need those. No offense to anyone that I may have offended, but here are the lip oils swatched. Again, we have e.l.f. in Honey Talk, e.l.f. in Rose Envy, and Dior in Rosewood. And these are the e.l.f. O Face Satin Lipsticks. I own five of them, and I feel like that's saying a lot to buy five of the same formula lipsticks. Is it not? I feel like it says a lot. Oh, okay. Oh my God, I thought I broke the lipstick. Look at this beautiful lipstick, never been touched. No doubt, which makes me think of Gwen Stefani and her band. That's a pretty color. It is a very light nude. Ooh, I do really like that. This is something that I would pair with a lip liner. NYX London or MAC Strip Down, just something that gives a bit of definition. This is beautiful, I really like this. Honestly, it gives me Kim KW from Charlotte Tilbury Vibes, except a more wearable, less washed out shade. Let me grab that and I'll swatch the two of them next to each other. No, these are not the same. I don't know what I was thinking, but in case you saw the two and were thinking it in your head, this is Charlotte Tilbury, Kim KW and this is e.l.f. in No Doubt. I really like this color. I think it's a fun nude. Should we throw a little bit of a lip liner just to give you like the potential of this? I think we should. Oh, 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 please don't fall. I wanna use one of the ones I just said to you. Okay, let's use Max Strip Down. So this is it by itself. Let's give it a little bit of definition. Oh, it's so good. I really like this. A very wearable nude for me and my complexion. It's kind of like a darker, more like vibier nude that isn't pink. Like all of the nudes that I gravitate towards are like peachy pink, whereas this one is more of like a brownish pink. It is such a beautiful color. I cannot wait to wear this more. I do really like this lip liner paired with it. These are matte. So matte in the sense that they have no shine to them. However, formula is like the feeling of it is satin. So they're very comfortable mattes. They don't dry out your lips, but they are not hydrating. These are great for me on days where my lips are doing well, where I remember to put Vaseline or some kind of lip oil, lip mask on them the night before. If you have dead skin on your lips, do a little like silicone scrubby scrub. I did that this morning too. So I love these lipsticks when I'm taking care of my lips. When I'm not taking care of my lips, I do not gravitate towards these lipsticks because while they're not uncomfortable, they're not hydrating and they will accentuate dry patches that you have on your lips. So O-Face in standing ovation. Ooh, that's a nice color. I really like that, very vibey. I think that these are beautiful statement lips and the fact that they are so affordable. Do I own every color? I don't think so. Am I close to owning every color? I think so. The shape of these is so beautiful. I've said this before, but you can really just like hug the lip with them. You don't necessarily need a lip liner. Oh my God. That is just like, an everyday face brightening lip. I change my mind constantly about many things, which, you know, I guess you could say it's a plus because I'm not thick headed and I'm not stubborn. Whereas I do think that I used to be more so that way. Now I feel like I'm more open-minded, which I think is a, a blessing. Um, but anyway, I digress. I went through my lip collection a few months ago and I got rid of anything that was like this or brighter or just anything that was a statement. And I was living in my peachy pink nude lips. And that was the hill that I was on. I think maybe it's like the warmer weather. I'm just like, I want brighter lips. I'm not really wearing a lot of eye makeup. This is a lot of eye makeup for me today because I've talked about this so many times and I feel like a broken record. But ever since my dad got sick and then my dad died, I just, I don't wear a lot of eye makeup because I get very emotional about everything and anything, whether it's dad related, husband related, family related, anxiety related. I am just like an emotional, mess. A lot of days I don't wear eye makeup because it's gonna smudge and it's gonna run. So now I find that I'm, I'm looking for creativity and kind of like a pop in my lips. So all of this to say, I downsized my collection to be more basic and now I'm like yearning and lusting over lips like this. So I guess it's good for you guys because now I'm trying newer products and a lot of the products that I got rid of, you could no longer purchase. So we could say that 
my lip collection is a bit more relevant now, which is always great for content creation, right? And for you guys, because you could literally go on Amazon and Ulta and buy all these things that I'm mentioning here today. This is standing ovation. I really like this. And I hope that I'm gonna like the next one because this one is very dark. And I was looking at this when I was shopping. This is an own it. I was like, mm, I don't know. But also because I don't know, at the same time, I am intrigued. Ooh, wah. That is really freaking pretty. That is a beautiful red. Oh my God. One last standing ovation because this color is so beautiful and I love it with this top. It kind of brings out the little like red orangey details in it. That's cute. Oh my God. Mm. Wow, that's really pretty. Wow, 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 wow. This just brightened up my entire face. I love this. I'm so happy that I was standing there and was like, ooh, I don't know, I don't think so, but let me try because look at this color. Let me know down below in the comments. Do we like this color on me? Would you wear this color? This is really fun. And I feel like this is a beautiful kind of like spring, summer lip. Ooh, right in your whole face, right in your attitude, right in your day. I just feel like I put this on and I became a whole new woman. I'm a little upset because, well, I'm not upset. Mike and I went to Sephora, which we're gonna get there. I have one more Ulta purchase that I wanna share with you guys and then we're gonna move on. But Mike and I went to Sephora because like I said, I have been lusting over one specific lipstick. It is a nude lipstick that I bought from Charlotte Tilbury. I will obviously show it to you because we're gonna get there. But when we were there, I was looking at a red that I also had my eye on and then I swatched both of the reds on my hand and Mike was like, I don't know which one will look better on you, but why don't we buy both? Because in case you didn't know, my husband loves me, absolutely loves me and a red lip. I absolutely love this red lip. He bought me everything from Sephora because he's a sweet angel. But he was like, let me buy, you know, he was like, let me buy the two red lipsticks. And I was like, oh, but I also want this nude. And oh, but I also want this lip liner. And he was like, just give them all to me. And let's just get the F out of here. Bless him, bless him. So again, this is Own It by e.l.f. It's so nice, I love it. And I'm curious to see if I like this one better than I'm gonna like the Charlotte Tilbury one. So let's go ahead and take this off. This next one, I wore and it's funny because I wore it around the house the other day and my husband didn't say anything to me And then the next day I was like Michael Did you like my lip that I wore yesterday because I feel like it was a very noticeable lip like I've gone from like I said Nudie patootie. That's all that I wear to now testing the waters into the funkier lips and he was literally like I don't remember I feel like I didn't mind it because I only say when I hate the lip or when I absolutely love the lip. And he's like, when I don't say anything, just know that I don't mind it. I'm like, oh. okay, noted. Is that how men work? I guess. Soft matte tinted lip balm, which riddle me that. How are you a soft matte tinted lip balm? Aren't, aren't lip balms comfortable? Like hydrating? I, this is not hydrating. And this is in the shade Touch Me. It looks very dark in the tube. It goes on kind of like a tinted lip balm. It's got color to it. If you go back and forth quite a few times, you can build up the shade. I can't even explain to you the feeling of this. It is very comfortable. So I guess like the name does make sense because it is matte, but it is very comfortable on the lips. Again, not hydrating, but comfortable like the O Face lipsticks are. It has that kind of like slippy satin feel. I just, I love this color. I feel like I need to bring this to Napa. Does this not look like I just was at a vineyard sipping wine all day long and now my lips are wine stained? Like that is the vibe that this gives. It was the vibe that it gave me. I swatched it on the back of my hand at Ulta, kind of like vampy kind of like very winter fall, but I also think that you can make this spring summer buildable, but it does have kind of like, you can kind of see through it if you were to just like pat it on your lips and not swipe it across so many times. All right, let's go ahead and just like pat her. Isn't that interesting? Very versatile product. I do really like this and see how that's just like, it changes the whole color. So you could do vampy or you could do very light, like barely there lip. I'm such, a big fan of this. This is a product I would definitely buy more shades in. So <laughs> stay tuned. We're done with Ulta. Thank you 
Jesus because we need to move on. Did I need to buy all of this? Well, actually my husband bought it, but did, did he need to buy this for me? Did I need to pick all of this out? I did not. I got a lip liner in Icon Baby, which I, I saw the color and was like, I don't know. I feel like it's a mix between Pillow Talk and Iconic Nude. I just, in my head, I needed to buy it. I bought two reds, Matte Revolution, Matte Revolution. Every, everything is matte. Everything is matte. One in Hollywood Vixen and one in Cinematic Red. I love the packaging on these. Let's do the lighter shades first. Charlotte Tilbury and Candy Chic, which this was the shade I was going for. And then I kind of like stumbled upon the reds because I brought my husband to Sephora. And I was just like, oh, husband, lipstick, loves a red. So him and I were playing with the reds in the store amongst all the children. <laughs> Bobbi Brown Lilac, let's do this one just because let's get Bobby out of the way and then we can move on to Charlotte. Something about this packaging, I've never owned a Bobbi Brown lipstick, but I really, really like this packaging. Crushed lip color in lilac. Wow, that is not as pigmented as I thought, as I thought it was gonna be. Wow, that is pretty. It smells like a lipstick. <gasps> oh, I love, it's like such a beautiful spring, summer color. Everyday nude with a little bit of spice. That is like a thick lipstick. Like you put it on and you can feel it kind of like fights with you to go, but I don't mind that. It's a beautiful shade. I really like it on my lips. Again, buildable. So I swiped a couple times up top and you can see it's a lot more pigmented than on the bottom, but just to show you, it's very comfortable. I will continue to wear this, let you know how it goes. But I like this color, definitely brightening of the entire face. I can see this with just like some jutsy skin, blush, a light, effortless, kind of a makeup for the spring and summer months. I really, I really like this. That's it swatched one more time. It is like a lilac, but like kind of like a berry lilac. Oh, it's so pretty. Charlotte Tilbury in Candy Chic. Kissing fallen from the, oh, kissing fallen from the lipstick tree. Oh, that's cute. What kind of formula is this? Oh, it's made in Italy. You all know how I feel about something that's made in Italy. Satin lipstick. Bobbi is definitely not hydrating, not matte. It's like the vibe, I don't know. Like a satiny feel, but it's not very shiny. It gives like a matte finish. Oh yes. I love this, look how pretty. It looks like the other ones that I own. Oh, here's one. Oh, KKW, duh. So KKW has like that champagne gold and then this is like a rose gold oh my god that's so pretty i love the packaging of charlotte tilbury it's like so retro i like that that's different than this other one so kkw has kind of like a rectangular applicator whereas the kissing one has your like traditional lipstick oh yeah just like your lips but better very similar formula to Bobbi. It's not very glidey. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I love this color. A much pinkier nude. Oh my God, that is so freaking stunning. I love this. I don't know. This might be my favorite one. And that's so annoying because I really wanted a drugstore lip to be my favorite lip, but this is just like, it kind of gives me like a Barbie pink vibe, but more wearable. But it kind of leans a little lilac and also a little peach. It is like, the, if Charlotte is good at one thing, I've said this many times, I don't love her lip liner, which does that mean anything? It should not mean anything to you because I still bought one. Let's actually use this to line the lips. This is the Lip Cheat in Icon Baby. I don't love the formula. I like a stiffer lip liner. While her formula doesn't always hit the mark for me. Okay, why can't I open this? Huh, <gasps> Centaur. Oh my God, did somebody like glue this shut? What's happening? I really can't get it off. Oh, yes. The color is really good. Oh, that's a really good color. I do like that because it's like a peachy nude. Let's do her iconic nude and pillow talk. So this is pillow talk, which is definitely pinker. That's pillow talk. 
That's Icon Baby. And now let's do her Iconic Nude, which I say that I hate them, but they're all nubs. So I just, the colors are so good. If I saw these three in a lineup and someone said, pick your shade, this is definitely the shade I would pick because I do enjoy a peachier undertone. It's just more flattering for my complexion. Candy Chic. And then this is the lip liner in Icon Baby. Let us pop into our last two lipsticks, Hollywood Vixen. <gasps> I love that it's red. Oh my God, Charlotte. I love this. Look at my little collection. Wow, this is stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. This honestly might make me wear red lips more, even if this looks terrible on me. Imagine like taking this out of your bag. I'm all about that. Like, I'm not kidding you. When I see good packaging, I am that weirdo. That is like, I envision myself. <laughs> with my handbag, like being out to dinner with my husband because I, I have no shame. I will sit at a table with 35 people and fix my lipstick after an appetizer, after dinner, after dessert. I just like see a beautiful packaging and in my head, I just like envision myself taking it out of my handbag, taking it out, going like this and then like swiping it on my lips. Okay, now this has the same as the KKW one. So I guess her matte lipsticks have this kind of Rectangular shade, shape, what am I saying? I don't know. Oh yeah, that is like mad hat. I like how the other lipstick looks in the bullet, but th this shade, why do I keep calling this a shade? It's a shape. This shape is really good at like helping you get the lip. This color is so good. This is like a typical, not typical, cause it, it's so special at the same time. But this has that like blue undertone that just makes your teeth look light. Oh my God, how light are my teeth? So annoying. We go to the drugstore, we get so excited. We buy 17 damn colors of e.l.f. I genuinely love them. But then I go to Sephora and spend like literally, where is the receipt? Bombi Brown herself alone was $35.19, okay? Charlotte, for one, two, three, four products, was $138.62. Thank you, daddy. Love you so much. Guys, and then at Ulta, do I have the receipt? No, but I will look it up and I will put the total of what it cost me when I went to Ulta and bought one, two, three, four, five, six, six six lipsticks. But then you go to Sephora and you buy things like this and oh my God, this color is stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. This is in Hollywood Vixen. Look at how pretty this lip is. Definitely matte, but a comfortable matte. I like that it hasn't gotten on my teeth. I love how white it makes my teeth. And honestly, I feel really confident in this red. I normally don't feel confident in reds. This red, it makes me feel so pretty. Cinematic red? Yeah, look at how dark she is. Oh, this is, oh yeah. Vampe. Ooh, but it's pretty. I love this. I love this. This is like a very bitten. Oh my God. Let's put it next to the other one. I feel like this was the best lip haul ever, but look at how pretty. And it's like, when you look at it in the tube, it's very dark and it is a dark lipstick, but it kind of has that like matte, almost like not sheer, but you can kind of like see my skin a bit through it. So it's not like super, super pigmented. I love this. What do we think? What do we think about this lip? Let me know down below in the comments. Was there a lip that I tried out? Drugstore, high end, whichever one. Like we could even do categories. Which drugstore that I put on my lips were you like, I want that? Or were you like, oh wow, fortunate that looks great on you? Which high end one do you think looks best on me? I don't know. I am loving this. I don't think it doesn't go with the shirt. It doesn't go with the shirt, but that's okay. I just feel like I'm back on my lipstick grind. Thank God, because I didn't know who I was for a hot minute. I just, I didn't know who I was. And now I have some amazingly awesome products to get me through the rest of my life, honestly, at this point. Like my lip collection is just so freakishly absurd. It is so absurd. I am excited to wear some more red lips in my life, some more fun lips. Again, let me know which one was your favorite. Did I inspire you? 
to buy any of the lipsticks here today. I would love to hear your thoughts, love to hear your opinions. If you have not yet subscribed and you enjoyed this video, watch some other videos, see if we vibe. If we do, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a part of my little family here on YouTube. I love you guys so much. If you enjoy lipstick videos, give it a thumbs up so I know because I have no problem going and spending my money on lips, on lip products. We've all, um, I've made that very clear in recent videos. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I really, really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.